it was about a year and a half ago, I started getting really bad migraines. And I thought that was just normal. I went to go get a sports physical done, and I failed the eye exam for it. So we ran straight over to the emergency room. And like five minutes after, we got there. And he was like, you have a mass in your brain. Honestly, I'm just going to tell you, my whole body went numb. I didn't really remember feeling anything except just like blankness. And never walk away. It said, I know when the fight comes, I'm going to keep my head up. You will never be the one to walk away. And like just a bunch of weight was lifted off my shoulders. Like I knew I was going to be OK. After Uthex, I was feeling at peace, and I felt like there was hope for our family. And then next year comes around, and my mom gets diagnosed. So I had what's called triple negative breast cancer. Um, it's one of the most aggressive forms of it, which means it can spread super fast. And so, sorry. When she was diagnosed was the scariest moment for me as a mother as a watching your child being told you have a mass in your brain, it was super hard to watch her do that, but she did it with a smile on her face. She did it. She never complained the days that she was sick. So watching her go through chemo and it was my journey, I'm like, if my 16 year old daughter can do this, I can do it. I definitely believe without God I would not be here right now because I definitely had these moments where I was like, why am I even here? Why do I need to be here? And then I would just remember that verse, Mark 5, 34, and it was when she touched the garment of Jesus' cloak. And that verse just kind of like gave me hope. I imagine God telling me, you need to be here for this exact reason. And then I, I realized, I was like, I have to be that person for my mom that my mom was for me. Just a few months later in May 24th, my dad passed away. So it was just, it was surgeries and then my dad passed away. And then I went through 16 rounds of chemotherapy. I did 25 rounds of radiation and I just had a hysterectomy three weeks ago. The devil was telling me, you need to stay in this state. You need to be in this state. But going to church and being at church, that's what makes me happy. And the people there were basically like lifting me up. The song Growing Pains means a lot to me because it just gives me hope that everything is gonna be okay. And I need to realize that. So just hearing those songs, it gave me like an extra push of just believing that there is something on the other side of things and that there is good in every situation you go through. I don't think we'd be where we're at in our faith if we hadn't gone through these times. Even though they were horrible, we never wanted to go them as a family. I'm so, in a sense, glad we went through them because of what it has taught us in our relationship. I speak for me and myself. I grew up in church, I knew God, but I never had that relationship that I have now that has just been better than I ever expected and more than what I had before. So I would never trade what we went through for what we were experiencing now.